Good morning all, it's post bag. Uh, this one is already partly open because it couldn't resist opening it. So let's see what's inside this foam packaging. And uh, yeah, this looks nice. This is uh, six super capacitors on a PCB in a rather dirty bag. Let's open that up. Right, this is a module uh, with a PCB and six of these 2.7 volt 500 farad uh, EDLCs. That's an electric double layer capacitor. So these are super capacitors. Uh, green cap, Samwa, allegedly. And they're on this PCB that's got the protection components. So this little chip will be a little voltage sensor that drives a MOSFET. And then when the capacitor voltage goes over 2.7 volts, or it might be slightly higher because these um, sensor chips have hysteresis. And it looks like they were originally designed to cut something off um, when the voltage dips below a certain level. So uh, they tend to be set slightly above their uh, nominated voltage. But it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Uh, there are four... 100 so they're probably 10 ohm resistors in parallel there so that's two and a half ohms which is shoved across the capacitor when it goes over voltage so i fancy having a play with uh, this thing right now today and i'll probably uh, take this buck boost converter off this smaller supercapacitor module uh, it'd be quite useful to put these blue leds across these resistors again um, that works because the voltage on the capacitor when this protection circuit switches on and therefore the blue LED comes on is 2.7 volts. Well, that's not enough to cause a high current to flow through the LED. So they light up reasonably brightly. You can see them, but they're not going to go over current. So, um, yeah, just solder six blue LEDs across these uh, resistors and they act as indicators for the over voltage protection circuits. Um, I'll probably put a 2.1 millimeter on uh, this one because I've got a solar panel which I think is 15 watt and I think when all these protection circuits are switched on this um, total array of resistors should be able to dissipate I would have said 15 watts with relative ease. Na, 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 na. I'm singing to myself. So this item on eBay is Farad capacitor, 2.7 volts, 500 Farad uh, super capacitor with protection board. Doesn't say that there are six super, super capacitors in series, but that's what they are. Uh, $36.99, free shipping. And this came from Kanzizol store. So uh, I think I'm gonna wire this thing up right now today because it's kind of on and off sunny. It's sunny at the moment. Uh, that'd be quite fun to play with and with um, a bigger solar panel and uh, probably what I'll do is put a, a bigger bulb in the uh, end of the buck boost and it'll just be this all over again but well bigger. Right this one I also appear to have opened I'm not quite sure why and it's another of these um, little component storage boxes with a strange asymmetrical uh, six small compartments and one large one. Uh, fixed dividers in this one, not those uh, pull-out ones that always seem to go loose and components seem to get trapped underneath them. Uh, so yeah, that's a seven compartment box. Let's put it next to some other boxes so you can get an idea of the size. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger than these ten compartment boxes, uh, which uh, I think this one came with uh, trimmer preset pots. You can get them with different color uh, little clips. So yeah, it's a bit bigger than that. Um, here's another one that I got, which is also a very similar size, which has five compartments. I think I got that for resistors. I'm not entirely sure that the resistors fitted in there, but yeah, they're all a uh, very similar size. Uh, this one doesn't have a problem with resistors still in their bandoliers. Um, in that large compartment, of course, none of the others are going to take resistors. So not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm sure it'll find a use. Yes, yeah, so on eBay, this is a 2016 plastic clear seven compartments fishing lure tackle bait box storage box. Uh, this was $2.15 free shipping. And this one came from 
Import Jewelry Lover. Right, this one um, came via Royal Mail, signed for. Uh, this one's also open. And uh, this appears to be a module. Does look like it might have come from Banggood. And it does look like it might be um, an ESP module. But uh, I thought I'd received all those. So let's take a closer look. Well, yes, it seems that this is uh, another ESP32 module. Uh, not quite sure why there's another one. ESP Room 32. So I am going to start um, looking at the ESP modules with Mongoose OS soon. So it could be quite handy that I've got uh, two of each of those. Uh, slightly different on the back, only in the fact that the uh, lettering is a bit smaller. But these are both uh, Do It. Uh, do it am ESP32 dev kit v1s. This one just looks a bit different. I don't know why. So on Banggood's website, that is this item. It's the Geek Crite ESP32 development board, Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth, ultra low power consumption, dual cores, ESP32, ESP32s board. Uh, this one is US dollars nine nineteen, uh, and of course this one is from Banggood. Uh, right, this one turned up this morning. Um, it's just Royal Mail, so that's been delivered locally. And uh, in here, there is a Technoline BL700 battery charger. Right, inside here, there is a set of... Um, yes, I think these are printed instructions for that battery charger. Now, I've already got two of these, and I blew one of them up because... Um, these take 3 volts, but I don't think this one does now. This one says on it DC 12 volts. So it looks like what they've done is they've changed uh, the power requirement for the BL700 from 3 volts to 12 volts. This is a 12 volt uh, power supply. They've also changed the socket. This has got uh, one of these small connectors, not the 2.1. But yeah, they've gone from 3 volts to 12 volts, which I think is a good idea. Uh, so it looks almost identical to the previous BL700 um, that I've got here. This is the one that I burnt. And uh, yeah, that's DC 3 volts. And this one is DC 12 volts. Now they have a slightly different part number. This is a BL700N, whereas this one under my burnt sticker is just a BL700. So the N must mean the 12 volt one uh, rather than the 3 volt one. Right, this probably says in the manual, only use with the supplied uh, power adapter. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to plug in this. And rather than give this thing 12 volts, I'm going to give it 13 and a half, because that's what my uh, solar power system is at at the moment. Let's see if that works. Okay, live plug-in. Oh, better just check uh, center positive. Yeah, center positive. be pretty stupid if it wasn't. Center positive. And... That's come on. Doesn't seem like it has a backlight. Uh, this thing never did have a backlight, but yeah, that certainly seems to be happy on 13 and a half volts. Let's put some batteries in and charge them. Just happened to be some uh, inner loops lying on my desk, probably waiting for a charge. Let's put them in there and see what we've got. Uh, okay, different voltages. That defaults to 200 milliamps. Uh, 200 milliamps is not the best uh, current to charge this at because it has problems terminating at 200 milliamps uh, or the other one did let's unplug it plug it back in and when it ah that came up with a little uh, model number or firmware number when it shows the current 200 i'm going to increase that to 500 and charge these all at 500 that will flash and now they're away charging at 500 milliamps I can press that button and I can see the voltages. So this one's a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, the others are all at about 1.3 something. Okay, yeah, I'll just leave that to uh, to charge. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure who sent this. There's no paperwork in the package. I'm not sure whether it's Technoline uh, themselves that have sent it or whether it's uh, Battery Logic, which is where I bought the other two of these that I've got. There's another one down there by the side of the desk. Um, not actually charging at the moment, but it does have some inner loops in it. But uh, yeah, so just thanks very much to whoever sent this. And just interesting to note that this has now gone 12 volts. 
And so these are today's post bag items. Now I'm going to fit a 2.1 millimeter connector to this capacitor board and take it outside and put a solar panel on it and charge it up because it's sunny today. A couple more videos up here if you'd like to watch those. Subscribe to my channel here. And this icon here takes you through to Patreon, which makes post bag videos possible. Cheerio.